Good day, ladies and gentlemen. These are reviews from Mob.org. And as always, this is Jay. Today, I will tell you about a tremendous, cool, unsurpassed, or as my neighbor would say, effing cool game named Deus Ex The Fall. For those who are thinking that this game came out a long time ago, and we are slow pokes and procrastinators, I have a powerful counter-argument for that. So what? So let's start with the sweet. Deus Ex The Fall is a game for real mobile graphics fans, if there is such a thing. This project in all ways simply breaks all the molds in which mobile games were stuck in before. And so you think, here it is, a game on Android which I have waited for for oh so long. After all, there's a semblance of a plot, and you have perfectly developed characters and all the functionality from Human Revolution. But the problem is that the developers accepted the phrase, enough is enough, too literally. The game can be passed in three hours, but you could probably stretch it out to maybe five or six hours if you play it with your feet, or with something else even less decent. So the plot. This story takes place before the events of Human Revolution, and tells about a mercenary named Ben Saxon, though I am convinced that it's John Reno. Man, I loved you and Leon the Professional! So, Jean Reno works as a part of an evil group of tyrants, then disappears from them in Panama. Having gone to an underground clinic in search of this medicine that blocks the rejection of implants, Reno finds this large pharmaceutical conspiracy. No guys, the plot is actually sad and uninteresting. Imagine that your friend told you, Imagine if in Deus Ex everything was dot dot dot, and bang, you wrote the plot with just those words. In general, when you can write the entire plot of such a game in a short sentence, don't expect much from it. Practically everything in the game appears to be ideal. The music, locations, even the control system seems ideal until the stealth mode doesn't kick into action. To draw the attention of your opponent, to hide, to be invisible, and to switch over to the weapon you need for an attack, you'd be better off if you could grow two more arms, because you really could use four hands in order to do that efficiently. So unfortunately, quite often everything will not go according to plan. But maybe that's for the best, in case we get too complacent playing casual games. So let's sum it up. Pluses. Smart graphics, a musical background, an abundance of opportunities, weapons, and there's at least something resembling a plot. Minuses. That plot again? It's a bad one, and the occasionally irritating control system. Certainly, this game deserves the attention and the rank as one of the best games on Android, but in the end, you feel more than a little let down. Like you ordered this hamburger because it looked huge and amazing in the photo, but when your order comes, it's just a tiny underwhelming thing and you're still hungry right after you quickly eat it. Generally, you get a feeling like you were deceived. That's all for today. If you liked it, download, like, follow our channel, and join the group. Lots of cool stuff over there. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you!